Hi, this is Mahu, OIC PM for Connectivity. Today, I would like to showcase a demo with a newly introduced security policy, which is JWT Association in Restaurant. So JWT security policy has been heavily adopted by the customers these days, and we would like to take this opportunity to uh, enable this feature in our uh, OIC 3 in the REST adapter. So, so we would like to uh, perform an end-to-end -end demo using this security policy, how this security policy works. And we would like to, would like to take a, an application which exposes the API uh, having secured with the JWT session. So I've taken graph API for this particular purpose, which sends an email. So let's deep dive the connection based on. So it has some prerequisites to do it. So before that, let's see what are the security policies that we have introduced. So this is uh, these two are the two security policies, um, JWT client assertion and JWT user assertion. So as part of this demo, I will showcase the client assertion. So uh, as I said, I would be using Graph API to integrate uh, 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 and send an email. So this is the connection URL which I have already keyed in. Let's take the uh, access token URL. And uh, let's find out other prerequisites. So these are uh, uh, JWT header uh, and the JWT payload and the private key alias. So these three are the uh, prerequisites uh, to perform the connection connectivity test. Uh, so, how do we form this JWT payload file in the JWT uh, um, headers file? I'll, I'll deep dive later in the demo. Um, and now I will go to the private key alias. So, this private key alias requires uh, a private key to upload it into the certification certificates page. So, let me. Uh, uh, so, I've already uh, got the uh, private keys and public key which I have used it. Let me take this alias name and upload my private key. So I'm uploading the private key. So it requires a password. So I keyed in the password, uploaded the private key. So this alias name has to be maintained back into our uh, connection page. So let me put the alias name here. And along with the uh, private key upload in our certificates page, I will have to upload a public key in the Azure account as well. So before going there, I will be uh, showing up what is the uh, what is there in the uh, Azure account application registration. So I have already created uh, an application in the Azure account, which where we need to upload. Uh, the uh, the public key which you have already created once it is been uploaded you will have the client id so this is required to form your um, json payload uh, j i mean jwt header and the payload so let's let's see what is there in the jwt header and the payload so this is the format of the jwt header uh, which requires by azure so this is the algorithm and the type of the security policy here and then XYT. So the XYT is like a unique ID for the private key, which is identified in the service provider to map against to the public key. So this, this is required, otherwise your client will not be uh, basically identified. <clears throat> so what is there in the uh, payload? So it has few parameters. One is issuer, subject, audience, and the expiry. So issuer is nothing but your client ID. Same client ID has to be copied here. The subject is, and the issuer are same for the client uh, assertion. For the user assertion, it will be different. This will be username that we have used it in the um, uh, JWT um, uh, app uh, where you have created in the Azure account. And the audience is your uh, access token URL, and this is a expiry time your uh, access to the next expiry time so let us upload this uh, uh, jwt header and 
under JWT payload uh, file. Uh, along with that, you will have to provide uh, optional security policy, which is scope. So I have already defined the scope in this URL. And then you also require to update the access token request. Let me just key in that. So this is an exceptional case. Uh, if a few applications like uh, Microsoft, uh, um it needs more information than the standard uh, token request hence you need to provide this token request uh, and let us save it it's now saved uh, let's go and perform the connection test so the connection test has been successfully completed so now let's go back to the integration. So I've already developed the integration. This is our integration, wherein I have uh, provided the uh, API endpoint here and the sample request. Uh, now, as I said, this API is being used to send an email. So where it will be sending the email? This should send it to my email ID and I have mapped that information in my map of fields. Let's see what is that. So here is the field where I have mapped my email ID. Uh, so let me go back and run the integration. So it should now send an, uh, a dummy email to my email id let's see so it successfully uh, executed now i should be getting an email uh, in few moments so this is the email which i have received it uh, from the azure service yeah thank you